Hey Yazi, so how do you make um how do you identify skeletal structures? Well, you have to name them first to identify be able to identify them. So let's say you have this structure here. Okay. So how do I start identifying it? Well, first you want to name the longest parent chain. The longest continuous chain of carbon. So the longest chain is the parent chain. Yes. Okay, so I assume it's this. Yes. Okay. How many are you, how many carbons are here? The carbons are like the ends. Yes. Yeah. Can I? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Eight. And do you have any alkyl group substituents? Yeah. This one, right? Yes. Okay. Which one is this one? Methyl. Okay. So, and it's on which carbon number? Uh, where do I start counting? Do I start from here or here? You want to start closest to the um, to one of the ends. You want to have small numbers. Okay, I think this one's shorter. So one, two, three, four. So it's four. Four. Okay. So in collectively, everything will be called four methyl methyl octane octane because you have eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if it had six, like, let me see. If it, if it stopped here, it would be hexane, right? Yes. Okay, got it. And if it continued, then it'd be nonane for nine or decane for ten. Wait, so so if it was right here and it was hexane, wouldn't it be two methyl hexane? Because, no, one, two, th no, it would be three methyl hexane. Yes. Okay, just making sure. Okay, can you show me another one? Another one? Okay. Yeah. On this side. On this side? Just even things out, you know. Alright. There's the alkyl group. It's alkyl, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So which is your parent chain? Mm, that. And how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you have hexane. Which, where's your alkyl group substituent? On which number? Right here. Can an alkyl group substituent be bigger than one? Yes. Or, or will it have multiple? It could have multiple. Can you draw another one? Like one with multiple? Mm hmm Yeah. I just want to see what that one looks like. Oh, now that's confusing. Wow, so now I have to find the biggest parent group. So I'm either guessing it's this, or this, or this. Mm -hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. This path takes me one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all the same. <laughs> yes, they're all, it's it's hexane. Oh. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But oh but it's still Conti six. Continuous. You don't want it, you're not breaking it up. Okay. Continuous. So you know you have hexane here. Yeah. And where are your alkyl group substituents? So, okay, for example, show me the parent group, please. I'm sorry. You have one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. So you can choose here. whatever you yes. want to be the parent group. Yes. And then everything else will be the alkylide, alkyl, alkyl, alkyl substituents. Yes. So I could have chosen any one I wanted because it was all even. Yes. And then everything else, so like if I chose this, these would have been the substituents. Yes. Got it. So since this is our parent group, right? Mm-hmm. These are the substituents. So I have one, two, three, four. Do the lines count as the groups? Or no. Okay. How do we count those? Well, like we did before with alkyl group substituents, we indicate the parent. We indicate the position number. So, okay. for example, here it would be one, two, three ethyl because it has two carbons. Okay. Four ethyl. Okay. And then hexane. Right? Okay. And you would name it by saying. Three, four, 
diethyl hexane. Why is it di this time? Because you have two ethyl groups. Okay. I while get it. indicating the position numbers three and four. Well, our time's up, Yazzie, but thank you for helping me understand the identifying skeletal structures. Of course. Happy to help. Thanks.